everyone. My name is Lila Atta. I'm an MD-PhD student in the Jeff Works lab at Johns Hopkins, and I'll be telling you about Velovis, a method used to construct RNA velocity-informed embeddings for visualizing single-cell transcriptomics data. RNA velocity is a recently developed method that can take snapshot measurements of single-cell transcriptomics data and use it to infer dynamics of gene expression. This can be used to predict future transcriptional states for single cells. And so interpreting the overall trends in cell state trajectories predicted by RNA velocity currently relies on generating low dimensional embeddings using methods like PCA, TISNI, and UMAP. These methods, however, only consider cells current transcriptional states and can yield very different representations of single cell transcriptomics data. And so we asked if we can inc incorporate future transcriptional states predicted by RNA velocity to generate more reliable and informative embeddings for single cell transcriptomics data. And to do this, we construct a composite distance that combines RNA velocity and Euclidean distance, and we use it to construct a graph representing the single cell data. This graph can then be input into graph layout approaches such as force directed layout or UMAP. We use Velovis to uh, visualize single cell state trajectories in pancreas development, and we find that it is able to capture expected cell state transitions across a variety of different topologies, including cycling and branching. It is also able to capture these cell state transitions even when intermediates are missing, which can happen in data sets with uh, disproportionate cell sampling or uh, rare intermediates. Velovis also works with single cell transcriptomics from imaging data, as we show here with MRFish of uh, single cell cycling and culture. Velovis is available as an R package, and if you're interested in learning more about the details, please visit the package website and check out our paper in bioinformatics. <laughs>